So let's talk about uh, cutting main caps for line honing and how we measure them and know that we're consistent on all the caps. Stay tuned. So <clears throat> we went ahead and put the caps on. This is a 6.4 Hemi. I don't, I don't remember what year, but um, we put the caps on, torqued it. Uh, dusted line home through it and you can see you know this cap it, it pretty much cleaned up but all of these four uh, like especially this one you can see that you can see that shadow and all of them's like that some worse than others like this is the thrust cap the center cap and I mean you can see how bad it is you can almost one of them you can almost see where they bored it. You can still see some lines from where it was bored from the factory. Anyway, so, uh, but that's a good visual just to show you how bad they are most of the time. So what we do is we take, uh, they make a fancy fixture for all this, but I see, I see people asking on forums, uh, some of the engine forums, how, what's the easiest way to measure. And so what we do is we take a deck bridge. This is the same gauge we use to check our piston protrusion. And we just flip the indicator upside down <clears throat> and we'll take, uh, you know, the first cap, we'll get it cut to where we want it. And then we'll just zero the gauge. And then we can verify each cap that we cut that that dimension's the same on each cap so we don't have any variance because if you have a bunch of difference between one cap to the next cap then when you hone it it's going to follow so one's always going to be big or one's always going to be little and you have to fight with it and it's a nightmare so this is the simplest solution this economical that we come up with to be able to measure accurately how much we cut and make sure that they're consistent um and and so it's just pretty simple and straightforward and you don't have to have it like this but mine's magnetic so i just put it on some stands where i can just you know without having to hold it but you can you can physically just you know do it by hand this way but I, I find that it's just easier when we do it off of the off of the stands like that so anyway that's just another uh, uh, uh another how to some things we find and you know we like to share stuff as we come up with you know perceived solutions to problems so there it is, uh, and you can check, you know, again, even if you're not line honing, you can check your caps with, with this just to see how they look. Because, I mean, heat cycles, I mean, that, that, that's the only thing that can, that can make them shadowy like that where they don't clean up all the way. Because you know they were straight when they left the factory or, you know, I don't know how they, other no other way they could have done it. So... Um, so heat cycles just move stuff around and pretty much every engine that comes in here needs to be line honed. I mean, some of them is not super bad. Like this one was right on top of the tolerance. Uh, the tolerance is like 750 to 751. They were all, you know, pretty close to 751. There were a few that were, you know, three or four tenths big and a few that were three or four tenths little. So, but but this, this is how we do it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.